Is this why I can't hang on to a boyfriend or even get a boyfriend? Is this why I don't have a savings account? Like, why is everything in my life just slipping through my fingers? Hi, my name is Hannah Dickinson, and this is a story about how I took mushrooms and acid and realized golden retrievers are actually angels and not just something that shit all over your carpet. So I've been quarantining in my parents' basement in Virginia, and I've been hanging out with my best friend from growing up, Ray. So every weekend I go to her apartment in DC like I'm a dad on probation. Both Ray and I had never done psychedelics. So we were we were nervous, but we had our first everythings together. Like the week she got her period was the week I got my first period. The night I had my first drink was the night she had her first drink. The night she lost her virginity was the night I learned how to masturbate with a couch. We were nervous, but we were excited, and we were like, all right, we're gonna do mushrooms and acid. Two drugs, one weekend, COVID chill at 2020. That night, it's just me, Ray, and her golden retriever she named Michael. And I suggest if anyone's gonna try drugs for the first time, you do have a golden retriever there, because they are a lifeguard for your emotions. So we take the mushrooms, an hour in, we feel nothing. An hour 30 in, I notice that Ray is sitting on the couch, staring at Michael, from across the room and they're staring at each other like they're two people falling in love for the first time. And I just start laughing because I'm like, of course this bitch named her dog Michael. Why would you name your dog Michael if not to fall in love with him? I can't stop laughing and suddenly Michael slow mows his head towards me and he's still smiling. He was kind of drooling. It was just like, I've just never seen such a pure form of happiness. There was a wind blowing through his hair. That's when it hit me, I'm like, this is why the Airbud saga is so successful. But he picks up his chew toy, like a, the rope that you played tug of war with. I couldn't get a good grip. I didn't have any strength. I swear to God, Michael rolls his eyes at me. He looked exactly like my dad did the first time I played soccer, just like, fuck, I have a theater kid. And then I start to get upset. Why can't I do this? Why can't I? hold on to this rope. And I was like, is this my whole life? Do I just give up when it gets hard? Do I just not want to put in the effort? Is this why I can't hang on to a boyfriend or even get a boyfriend? Is this why I don't have a savings account? Like, why is everything in my life just slipping through my fingers? I tell Ray what's going on. I'm just like, I'm such, I, I can't hold on to anything in my life. Like, what is wrong with me? And she just bursts out laughing. You don't need a boyfriend, you need a dog. Her connection has gone too deep. Uh, it's time to go to bed and Michael is sleeping with me for his safety. So that night I sleep with Michael, you know, protecting him and I'm petting his fur and it's the softest fur I've ever felt. Rubbing him and I'm like, I'm pulling out his huge pieces of dandruff that look like snowflakes, you know, just like everyone was a little different. They're big, they just fit through my palm, I can blow it away. Together we were one and we were alone and it was okay and you know, dogs also don't have spouses and dogs live their entire lives and they don't get married or have children or live in a cul-de-sac. Some dogs live in one bedroom apartments in New York and die alone and that's okay, you know? I eventually fall asleep and I wake up and we're like, okay, let's try the acid now. Maybe it'll be a little happier. Maybe it'll, it'll be more fun. That's what I've heard. We take the acid at 8.30 PM. That hits a lot faster. Acid is mushrooms on Adderall. Now I'm the hyper puppy. I'm just like dancing my, my brains off. We listen to Don't Start Now, that Dua Lipa song, the 11 remixes on SoundCloud over and over again. After six hours, we were pretty tired of the song and um, I don't know cool music, so we decided we should probably go to bed. But here's the thing, um, when you're on acid, you can't just go to bed. My mind is wired. My friend was like, let's watch a movie, let's watch Frozen, maybe that will calm us down. Frozen, that movie is fucked up, okay? The younger sister, who was abandoned by her family her whole life, falls in love with the first man she meets. It turns out he's using her for her money. Damn, Disney is starting women early. Like men cannot be trusted. They're terrible. So I guess the moral of this story is that like love, drugs are not like the movies. They are disappointing, but that's honestly not even true. I do like mushrooms. I've done them a lot since. Uh, I've done mushrooms so much, I'm not friends with every piece of furniture in my house. Tales from the...